<laughs> all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. No one here is happy about what happened to Yasha. Well, no one here seems very upset about it either. <laughs> Look, that's because we're all hot and professional here, okay? Now get a grip on yourself, dear. <laughs> Tell you what, you want to chew? Here, have a chew. This is tight. Do it yourself. All right, now. You say that you and your husband was having a little birthday dinner when the roof fell in, right? It didn't fall in. It was knocked in. All right. Let's not argue about details here. But they ruined my house. And that man ran over my husband. I don't think those are minor details. All right, but I talked to the driver, ma'am. <laughs> he said that your husband ran right in front of his car. That's what he said. And you know what else? Your husband was naked as a jaybird. That's very strange. Now, the man says that there was no time to stop and that the whole thing was purely an accident. But he ran over him three times. Yes, but he could explain that. He said the second time he had to back up because he wanted to see what happened to your husband. The third time? Well, he had to pull forward again to park the car. Now, you share, you know, I don't claim to be the brightest person that ever lived, but... But, well, that man should be punished. He should either be hung or, or forced to take his driving test over again. For all I know, the man might be very well. But I don't think making him take his test over again at the DMV is going to be much of a help. That's a cruel and unusual punishment for a man. But, Sheriff, we're talking about manslaughter here. Well, actually, we're talking about naked manslaughter, and there's quite a difference. But uh, I think what you're talking about is how many angels can be dancing around on the head of a pin. And frankly, I'm not even sure if we got up in here. So I'll tell you what, you keep this nice sheet on, and I'm going to go talk to the driver again. All right? Hey, you! This is our big shot. Come here. Oh, no! <laughs> getting late here. It's getting dark. Come on, get to work already. Mr. Schweitzer, come with me here. Huh? What you got in the bar? What? Wait a minute. What you got in the bar? Bourbon. You want some? Nah, I better not. The guy's wife you ran over over there, she says uh, she's got a bug up her ass. I can't drink. So you want me to go over the details with you again, right? In a minute, in a minute. I'm, I, my jaw is sore from chewing this. I gotta rest. Let me do some things here. Hello! Murray! The combi sandwich is coming in? I want an extra fries for me, all right? It's like I told you, Constable. And the Lord is my witness. That man ran right into my path, naked as the day he was born. Crazed he was, with a crazed look in his eye, like some demon in the night. But you did try to stop. There wasn't time. I would have swerved to avoid hitting him, but it was as if the Lord himself had taken control of the steering wheel. He's my co-pilot, you know. Kill the animal. Slay the naked beast. Waste the slimy sinner. Then it was an accident, right? Was it an accident that the Earth was created in a day? I kind of always thought it was seven days. That was all because of the damn unions. Was it an accident that God chose to make the United States of America the most powerful nation on the face of the Earth? Was it an accident that the good and honest believers decided to make Ronald Reagan president of this country so he could stop naked blood spots like this guy from running through our neighborhoods butt naked? You know, now that you mention, he was running naked. You know, that's like uh, homosexual behavior. If you've ever examined the phenomenon, you know? I think, uh, oh, you better take it easy with this liquor because the lady over there, she wants me to arrest you, put you in jail. Huh? The only one here that needs to be arrested is this animal under here. Besides, not only is he naked, but he is delaying the delivery of some very important government documents. Now, that's another thing. I had a look in the back of your van. That's quite a load you got. Now, you tell me, what the hell's a Mies report? That is the final report of the Attorney General's Commission on Pornography. I'm charged with delivering them to all the kindergarten schools in the area. That way we can start brainwashing, I mean, 
we can start teaching the little children a correct view of human sexuality. Well, I'm all in favor of that. You know, I never had the belief that people should be able to fuck whoever they want, whenever they want. I mean, I can't do that. My wife would have my head. Amen to that, Sheriff. Say, do you go to church, brother? Hey, I'm kind of in between churches right now. Well, maybe you ought to join the church that I go to. What church is that? F-A-K-E. That's Fundamentalist Against Kinkiness and Erotica. Well, amen, Reverend. You know, I'll tell you what. I think it's time for you to make your deliveries, all right? Mm. I'm going to talk to the little lady. Let's get you on the road. You're going to be all right? Oh, yeah. Can you drive this van? Uh, shit, yes. Driving is easy. It's walking is the hard part. All right, get, get this body out from under this van. This, this gentleman has important deliveries to make. Now, you be careful now. Don't worry about me. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to counsel. Say, do you know your rights? Sheriff, sure. did you see that? Send him in. Come in. Good morning, Chief. How you doing? Good morning, Jaime. Sit down. Don't call me Jaime, Chief. I got a gun, you Aryan son of a bitch. Be careful you don't shoot yourself. Sit down. Who the hell is this Debbie Hens? What's this all about? Ah, that's nothing. Uh, her husband is, is, is the naked man that ran under the wheels of the government delivery van. You remember that? Yeah, she's waiting in the other office for me. And I smell trouble. Trouble? What trouble? I can handle a girl like that. <laughs> Turn that thing off! Is this the slick road's dick on the stick? For this, I'll get a confession out of her, I'll tell you that. Dude, you get a confession on me right here. On what charge? Charge? We don't need no stinking charges! Let me tell you. I... Now you better think of something. We got an election coming up in a couple of months. If they catch wind of this, it'll be our asses. Well, I'll tell you. You just keep your pishy in your pants and I'll take care of everything, all right? Go out the back way. I don't want her to see you with me. Now get out. All right, I'm going, but I'll tell you, you ought to take some Maywalks, a valley in my tongue, you a very nervous fellow. Who? Who is it? Police officer, ma'am, open up, please. How do you do, ma'am? It's about that Red Plymouth Park across the street. Does that car belong to you? No, uh, I lost my car when my house was flattened. I think it belongs to the guy across the street. Then you saw that man park that car there? Yes, uh, is there a problem? Well, I'm afraid there is. See, that's a uh, red zone there. And being that uh, you witnessed that said parking, you're, you're an accessory to the violation. And that means that I'm going to have to impose a $50 fine here or else you can appear in court. It's your choice, and uh, you have a nice day now. Accessory to a parking violation. The money for this bail will be used toward the building of the new metro rail for the exclusive use of Beverly Hills maids. Ooh, that's a road to put right through my house. Who is it? Hi, Inspector Man. I'm also the fire inspector for this district. It's about that dick on the stick that you and your friend was playing with a while ago. What about it? It's legal. Yeah, it's legal, but it's a fire hazard. 
You see, my friends, my boys was driving by. They just glanced in your window, and they happened to see you. We have some pictures here. See that? Picture. Now, you'll notice. Look, you see, those are sparks flying right off, off in the corner. Now, that's a violation. So I'm going to have to impose this fine here and insist that you replace that cord immediately because it's very dangerous. And uh, you shouldn't use that cheap foreign-made stuff. You're going to mess around with your public parts. You know what I'm saying? So you have a nice day.